I definitely forgot to what they call record a video but showing the how I did the outline for the mouth but we, basically what I did with the Stabilo pencil is I basically sketched it out how I wanted it and then put the tape this real thin narrow tape put that it's like a sixteenth of an inch or something like that I do body and fender and paint so I have access to all this other stuff um, it runs like three dollars a roll or something like that I don't really remember but starting the shark face on this ice chest um, got the top row outlined I'm not gonna go all the way back cause to me it looks like it's too much when it goes real jagged real tiny I don't know I don't like the way that looks I'm not completely satisfied with it but whatever it'll be fine enough good enough doing the bottom row I'm gonna have have to come lower now because well yeah I'll do this third tooth mid height and then I'll bring the rest like that so I can have the tongue behind it this piece of red I'm gonna do a red tongue behind it on the iris here I'm gonna put the this big old circle not that big but you know a red iris here black pupil Outline the iris with black, outline the eye with black, outline the top of the mouth here with the red line, just that top over the white, and then over that, or half on that, I guess, or above that, I'll do the black outline for the mouth. Water sand, and that should be it I, after that I'm just gonna spray some flat clear which I have a half gallon of and some industrial stuff so it's real thick and real strong it's pretty tough tough stuff and I got some you know some random crap in here but all this on the inside was taken down to bare metal rust stopped on the bottom um Rubberized coating, like that stuff you buy at AutoZone anywhere in the States. Um, it's like a $5 can or something, but the only drawback to that was it took like five days to completely cure. And I was really impatient and ended up messing it up a bunch of times. So I kind of keep spotting it. But it's cured now. I, I sprayed that a while back, and then you can paint over that. And the inside of the walls that used to use regular um, flat black rattle can. All this crap on the side is overspray from spraying the the primer, the red primer, the oxidizer primer, black fl flat black, and this uh, olive drab green. It's all waterborne, except for the primer. The primer was rattle can. There it is. Getting closer. Outlining teeth. I'm going to mask all that off, hopefully spray some red soon, get that black outline and whatnot, and then put, well, re-insulate, and extra insulate the sides, which I got some stuff here for that. Bought this at Home Depot, fiberglass insulation. It's like $5 for the little packs, so I got a couple of packs, and with this I'm going to insulate this all the way around the sides. As you can see, it's too long, so I'm just going to push it under here, and then push it down so it curves down, and then I'm going to pack the bottom with the extra insulation. Hopefully it lasts, like, ice lasts longer. And then I have the, the original insulation that came with it, and I have that wrapped around the tub, so I'm going to squeeze that tub in here, put the screws back on. Well, before I do all that, I'll put the handles on and hinges and all that. Then I'll put the tub in. So on and so forth. Getting getting closer, getting closer. That's it.